Hello, this week's motor test of the week is going to be a motor that I've seen some, well, some people have probably thought of getting it rather, and um, so I bought one. Uh, it was on sale on Banggood a while ago. Um, I actually got it for like, I don't know, £7.50 or something. Um, they're back at normal price now. Um, so I thought I'd give this one a test. Um, it's probably going to be a very quick one. It probably ain't going to turn that much of a selection of uh, props. Um, you could also uh, get this on eBay. Um, they're pretty much the same motor. Uh, mine came with the uh, Race Star written on it. Um, but these ones don't seem to have any writing on them at all. Um, but I think they're about I think they're the same motor. Um, so let's have a look at the specs. It's well, it's a 4,000 kV outrunner motor for a T-Rex 450 helicopter. Um, so I thought I'd give it a try running a propeller. Um, I think I've seen other people have bought these in the past, like I said. Uh, let's have a look at the specs. Net weight is, uh, they are 64 grams. It says maximum current of 45 amps. And, what was it? Voltage, is, well, it says for 3 or 4 cell. Uh, the shaft is a 3.17 shaft. And I've checked and it's, it is 3.17 all the way through, so the bearings are 3.17. Um, what we got? It says load power, 360 watts. Um, I'm guessing that's the max, but it says load voltage, 14.8, load current, 24.3 volts. I'm not sure what that is. I think someone's made a mistake writing these specs up. But um, yeah, let's give it a try and uh, see what sort of size prop it will turn. Probably not a very big one, but let's give it a go. Okay, here we are, and as you can see, mine has got Race Star written on it for some reason. Uh, it's also got a BR2835. Oh, that's what it says on there. Um, the first prop I'm going to try, because this is very high KV, um, I'm going to start off very, very small. Um, and these are really good prop, these are. <laughs> it's um, a Gem Fan 4045 carbon reinforced nylon prop. Um, I find them to be work really good, and I've put an immense amount of power through them, so they're pretty tough. Not the uh, not the plastic ones that bend. These are pretty damn solid. These ones. Right, so I'm just going to test it first on three cell with a 2,250 milliamp 25C uh, three cell Rhino one. Oh, that's the four cell charge. I don't know if I'll be using it or not, but uh, speed controller I'm trying is a Turner G AE 65 amp ESC. Right. Oh, need to turn the old scales on. Right, so hopefully it's a bigger prop than this, but let's uh, give it a go. Seven amps. Two hundred and twelve watts. That's not bad. So uh, let's go up in size on the prop. Okay, this prop is a TGS four point one by four point one sports prop. Still on three cell. Good. 41.8 amps, 
459 watts. See how hot it's getting. <laughs> Hardly any temperature there at all. 26.4 degrees. And it is just, well, 19.4 degrees in there. So that's not too bad. So I think I'll go up again in prop size. Okay, this is a 4.5 by 4.5 TGS prop. Still on 3 cell. So let's see what this one does. Ooh. Caused a bit of vibration then. Let's try that again. Seems a pretty tough motor. Maybe I haven't got quite got that prop balance right. But, um, I could try another prop. See what happens there. Okay, I've gone up to a 4.75 by 4.75 TGS prop. I think this could be the maximum that you want to go. But you know, let's see how hot the Windings get after the test. Sound a bit better. Must have that one balanced a bit better. <laughs> Fifty-seven amps, five hundred and ninety-eight watts. <laughs> I'm still not feeling a lot of temperature there. Blimey. me. Thirty-one. Thirty-two. There's a hot spot there. Thirty-two. Right. So let's give that a longer burst and then see how hot it gets. I'll show you it spinning. That did make it a bit warmer. <laughs> oh yes, that made it a lot warmer. Well, that's not too bad. Probably 42 degrees. Remember there's no cooling air going over it. I think maybe the 4.5 by 4.5 was uh, might have been better. Less less current draw. All right, so uh, let's go back to the smaller props and uh, try it with a four cell. This should be fun. Okay, I've gone back to the Gem Fan 4045 carbon nylon prop. 
and I'm using a Zippy Compact 1800 milliamp 35C 4 cell. Let's see what happens here. Wow! Cool. That was loud. Four amps, six hundred and sixty five watts. Crikey. Thirty five degrees, that's not bad. It's probably still warm from the last three cell test. But that prop really zings up, doesn't it? <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I don't think I'll be able to go much higher than that, but um, I will try one more prop. Okay, I've gone to the 4.1 by 4.1 TGS prop, and on the 4 cell, so let's try this one. more than the gem fan prop oh, still only 37 degrees <laughs> give it one more blast There's a hot spot there, 44. Hmm. I don't know if I'd want to push that motor that far. Crikey. <laughs> Certainly zings up though. Right, well, I don't think I'll be putting any bigger pop than that on it. Um, maybe if you had something a bit less pitch, it would... Um, Give you that sort of thrust, but obviously you have less pitch. Right. Anyway, I think I'll call it there on this one. That's this motor test of the week on the T-Rex 4000 kV motor. Yeah. If you like this video, please give us a like and subscribe if you haven't seen it before. And uh, you can see all the other motor tests. This one was quite crazy. <laughs> Putting quite a bit more power through that motor than it says it can take, but. Seem to work alright. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you again. Bye bye.